and you know, again, we've heard it so many different ways from so many different walks of life and people, but I've heard you say many times before, like, the universe is for you yes. and never against you. Totally. How do you know that? And how can you convince someone <laughs> who is facing a stage four? They're like, the universe is not for me. I have stage four cancer. Like, how do you know that? And how can you help someone else really trust I, that? Because you've I, helped me trust that. I believe it. <clears throat> I know it just through my own insights and of inspired wisdom. <clears throat> I've gone through a lot of um, different spiritual encounters that have allowed me to see differently. So it's, it's, I can't unsee what I've seen. So what I do with individuals is I will take them to a place where they've actually felt wholeness, the feeling of it, felt that all of their needs are met, depending on what structure we're working on. If it's health, I say, take, think of a moment in your life where you felt healthy. That, that's still, that memory is still there. And then I'll amplify it. I'll keep working to amplify that feeling I say it's a feeling universe, so your role is to maintain that feeling. Don't ask how you're going to be healed. Don't ask what supplement's going to work. Don't ask, you know, because they can all work, you see. But mainly, you have to be receptive. So, so I work with them to have that feeling. I amplify it, have them close their eyes, go into that space, and they keep coming back to that. So they actually become the feeling tone of wholeness. Now, things can work for them. So it, it obliterates the fear because they're in the faith attitude, you see. Don't ask, how is this going to happen? That, 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 that's a futile question, you know. When, no, no, just stay in this. And what happens is then they become a vibrational match for the universal law to match that frequency. So it's, 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 it's work. You know, you, you, you know Joe Dispenza. He had to do that with his own healing. Mm -hmm. Mitchell May had to do that with his healing. I can go down the list of people. You know, I had a, a friend of mine who I tried to work with. He, he wouldn't do it. And I, I told him, I said, listen, this is your job. You don't have any other job, you know, but to every single day, scan your body, go into the feeling of wholeness with every organ. That's your job for the next number of hours. And he would do a little bit, he would do a little bit, he'd get better, then he would not do it. But he didn't take it on. You know, he, he left. You know, he le and, and there's, no, there's nothing wrong with leaving. You, you know, it's eternal life, you can unfold, it's your choice, you know. But, I, so, I, so I take them into that space. So I know it from direct encounter, you know, uh, about a couple of months ago, I was about to do a, a, a Zoom class and it was, I sit on, on my a couch before I do anything, I meditate. So when I opened my eyes, I was blind. I was surrounded by light. I couldn't see anything but whew, this vibrating light. So I called Lee, Reverend Kathleen. I said, I can't see anything. Lee called the person and said, we're going to have to postpone the, the, pod, the, the, the Zoom class for a minute. We didn't know how long it was going to last. And so I was just inundated. So when I looked at Kathleen, I could see a fountain of light just cascading through her being. I looked at Lee, I saw the same thing, and I realized that's who they are. We're all, we're all light. We're the light that lights up every man and woman that comes into the world. So then after a while, I could see this world, and I could see the light, and then I went on and did the class. Now, that was the first time that that happened with people. I've had that before. But I've always been by myself. But it was like this was the first time was like, I, I can't see, and there's people here, and they see that I can't see, you know. And so when you ask me how do I know, I'm talking about a direct encounter with the luminous aspect of our life. We're light, mm -hmm. you see. So light means understanding, but it also means our identity. And I can't unsee what I've seen, you know. Do I have bad days? Absolutely. There, there are things that bring me to a high level of pissosity. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> are there challenges I have to deal with? Yes, I'm running a community. There's challenges every single day, <laughs> you know. But it cannot touch that, you know. And so I like to say, un untouched by time, embraced by the eternal, you know. 
and and it's 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 sweet. I I I, I and so the, the other gift that I get to have, you know, I don't take any of this personal. I'm not better than anybody, but I know there's an energy in my words. There's like an activation, you know, and I just get out of the way and let it let it rip, you know, and so. I've been teaching for 40 years. <laughs> I'm only 45. Yeah, I know. You look you look 42. <laughs> and and I you know, I've seen miracles, I've seen so much and uh, so I, so as much as I know, I live in the fact that what I don't know is way more than what I know. Mm. You know, it's way I, what I know is infinitesimally small. To what I don't know, so I, I'm like a child. I'm like a kid. I'm like, a, ooh, I'm on an adventure. What's what insight's going to happen today? You know, and 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 uh, so I, I like being a kid. You know. Yeah. yeah, that's the kingdom of God is through the eyes of a child. Or eyes of a child, yeah. Who that the only as, as he said, you know. In order to enter the kingdom yes. of God, you must be like a child, not childish, <laughs> but like a child. Childlike. <laughs> childlike. Big difference. Yeah. Thank you for listening to The Heal Podcast. Be sure to tune in for more empowering wisdom and inspiring healing stories. Oh, and make sure you hit the follow button on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts so you don't miss that one episode that holds the answer you've been searching for. And if you feel inspired, we would love you to rate and review us so that we have the opportunity to reach more people. And of course, you can follow us on Instagram for some behind the scenes fun and more inspiration at at Heal Documentary and at Kelly Gorris. Thank you so much and be well.